Welcome back to my channel Dreamers, I think you already understood what we will see today. This fire warms the heart, what do you think? And this world really needs it in these times. After this uh, spiritual moment, uh, let's back to today's tutorial. We'll see how to create a realistic fire effect and above all without drawing a single frame. We'll use the powerful means that Dreams is currently putting at our disposal. <laughs> and I'm talking about noise, a filter that those who follow my channel will have already seen in my previous tutorials. Today we'll see how to use this feature to create this really cool effect. So if you are interested, watch the video till the end. I'm using this fire system on a few projects like this one. I'm having a lot of fun making this character fight with this ghost and believe me, animating all of this is much easier than you might imagine. I think it's more difficult for Dreams to render everything. <laughs> for now everything is going smoothly and I can't wait to show you the final cut with the audio added. Well guys, we can start but first, if you haven't done... Before going to Dreams we need to procreate for a moment, to create the levels we'll need. As usual I create a new very large canvas, because I like to fill my iPad's memory with projects that I will then forget to delete. <laughs> First of all we need to create the layers in the correct order, so that when we import them into Dreams they will already be in the correct position. Now I'll take a grey color and fill the canvas. And this is the first layer. Now I create a new layer. I'm hiding this for now because I need to keep the same color. And on this level I set the drawing guide to symmetry. Ok. Take one of my favorite brush, inking syrup, and I draw this shape. Let's be careful that it's closed here, here too, ok, now I can feel it. A very important thing for now will be to have all the colors the same. And I had a third level, here too I fill the canvas. Obviously we don't see any changes precisely because the colors are the same. Once again the fourth layer, four layers that as we'll see on Dreams will be used to create the fire animation. But we also need the flame color, so I create one more and with an orange color fill the canvas again. Now we have everything we need to animate on Dreams. Ok, let's move Procreate here. Let's open Dreams with a new project. New project, ok. Now I always practicing with iOS 26. Let's try, no. Ok, now move. Move, no, now move, ok. Import all the file from Procreate. Great, we are here. Can now convert the drawing into tracks. Be very careful from this point on and follow each step carefully because otherwise the system will not work. First step, I hide all layers except the first one. I'm going to resize a little too. 
ok let's go back into the group and on the first level i add an hsb filter and darken it now the first keyframe i can delete activating this it's now visible but here too i will have to add an hsb filter but this time i will do the opposite by lightening the layer and delete the first one I will now use this Dreams filter, one of the most powerful and versatile tools in Dreams, which we can use in a really interesting and above all wired ways. I set it on the third layer. Let's start by setting a little amount, not too much. A little bit of scale, otherwise you won't see anything. <laughs> okay. I delete the first keyframe and move the one created at the beginning of the timeline. For the effect to work, I go to the end of the timeline and expand the options. I set the keyframe on the travel and I would say for now let's set the value to maximum. Very important thing, trend curve to linear. The speed of the ripple that is created depends on this setting the travel will obviously also depend on the length of the timeline. We will definitely have to do some testing to find the right speed. But now I add another keyframe here on the Y coordinate. The fire goes up, so it will be very useful to add this animation. Let's try setting the value to the maximum, in this case 2. Trend curve to linear. I would say it's a bit too slow, I set the initial value to 0, ok, now better. Once we get here we start to reveal the cards and throw down the A's, and I think that no one like him is more appropriate in this case. We miss you. But let's get back to us, on the fourth level we have to change the blending mode. and set hard mix. Damn, I managed to make everything disappear. <laughs> Don't worry, now we have to work on some things. Let's go back to the layer where the noise is and set an opacity filter. Do you see how it behaves if I move the cursor? For now let's leave it like this so that the flame level is visible. For now the effect is not working, we are still missing something. We move on the second layer the flame and add a blur filter. I move the cursor until I discover the effect and ladies and gentlemen, here is the result. A really interesting effect. What do you think? I delete the initial keyframe, ok. Beyond today's tutorial, there are many things that can be done with this method. For example, if we try to move the level with the performance tool, we can create a dynamic beam. Do you see how the shape changes based on the noise layer above? You can create really interesting special effects. Especially remembering that you will not have to draw for hours frame by frame but you can concentrate on the other animations of your projects, which we know how long a job can become. But let's get back to today's fire, now let's give it a color. On the orange color layer set as a blending mode, multiply. Now it looks more like fire. Before we say we are done, we need to figure out how to remove the black rectangle and leave the flame. I close the group and change its blending mode to screen. It's not enough yet to remove the rectangle, because we need to add something behind the fire group. I'm going to create a new track and move it below. I will simply need to take a color like this brown and fill the layer. 
As you can see, immediately the black disappears because the blending mode of the group acts on the underlying layers. Obviously, there is not much three-dimensionality here because we simply filled the background and there is no real scene. We can make the fire even cool, for example by duplicating the group I'm going to resize it and with the HSB filter I can, for example, give a darker color. Obviously there is something to optimize in the shapes, but the effect at this point is already really interesting. Now I want to copy the wall group and bring it into the previous project in the forest, so we can see how it behaves in a scenario. I remove the one already created and copy the new one. This effect is very cool. I want to increase the speed a bit so I move the keyframes in the noise layer closer together. The effect already appears more realistic. There are indeed many possible uses for this method of fire propagation. We can create visual effects for our projects like this trail that looks really organic and most importantly without having to draw every single frame. I think we'll see some great things in the future. Well dreamers, we have reached the end of another fantastic tutorial and I think that what we have opened today is a Pandora's box for creating really interesting animations here on Dreams. There is a lot of power here, I think it's certainly not easy to find and use to our advantage, but we must learn to see better. Use all tools that are already made available to us. And well, wait for Dreams too. As always, if there is something that is not clear to you, write me in the comments. Thanks for watching and